Hello students, today I will be discussing biology questions for the new paper 2013 code X I will be discussing here. So you look at this question number 46. Now in this question number 46 this flow chart is given and in the flow chart we have to tell what is A, B and C. Now you see here you know that DNA is autocatalytic as well as it is heterocatalytic in nature. Autocatalytic means that DNA it can form its own copies. So, so the process which is depicted here this is DNA replication. Through the DNA replication more copies of the DNA they are generated. Along with that DNA is also heterocatalytic means DNA contain information for the synthesis of other molecules like it can form RNA. So you can see here DNA it contains the information for the synthesis of RNA and this process which is involved that is known as transcription. So what does A represent? Transcription. Now this messenger RNA, it contains coded information for the synthesis of protein and the process which is involved that is translation. And this flow chart which we are discussing here, this is known as central dogma and the central dogma, it was proposed by the scientist Francis Crick, right? So what does A represent? It represents transcription. B is translation and C proposed by the Francis Crick. So it means the answer for this question number is 2. Right. So now let's deal with the question number 47 here. So now let's discuss question number 47 that how perisperm differs from endosperm. So here we can write some of the differences between the perisperm and endosperm. Now perisperm represents remains of nucellus. Nucellus remains. So you know that nucellus is diploid in nature. So surely perisperm, poloid is also 2N. Right now, if we talk about the endosperm, in the case of the gymnosperm, endosperm is formed without triple fusion, it is formed without fertilization. So, in the case of the gymnosperms, it is formed without fertilization, so it is haploid. But if we talk about the angiosperm, it is formed through the triple fusion. Yes, three nuclei they fuse to form the endosperm. So it means in the angiosperm the poloidy is 3N. Now what is the function of these two structures? Both these structures they have reserve food. Yes, so now on this much of the basis now can we can easily see what is the appropriate answer for this question. If we look at this option being haploid. So you know that perisperm is diploid. If we look at this option, what does this represent? Fusion of secondary nucleus with sperm. This is triple fusion. But triple fusion is required for the formation of the endosperm, not the perisperm. Then coming to this option, reserve food. This is not a difference because the reserve food is present both in the perisperm as well as endosperm. So which is the correct answer? That is second one, perisperm is diploid and endosperm can be haploid or it can be triploid in nature. So for the question number 47, answer is 2, right? Now coming to the question number 48. Now in the question number 48 we have to tell that amongst these four options which is the one which contains cyanobacteria that is BGA. Yes, amongst these which one has association with the BGA. Now answer for this question is cycus. In the cycus the BGA which is associated is that is anabina cycatic right now anabina cycadae it is associated with the roots of cycus 
right this is the vegetative part which contains anabina association now roots which contain association of anabina these roots they are known as corylloid roots now here i will also like to tell you about the pinus now in the pinus there is association of fungi pinus fungal association is there and this fungal associated roots they are known as mycorrhizal roots right so in the case of the pinus mycorrhizal roots are there and cycus shows association with the cyanobacteria and such type of the roots you call them as corylloid roots so answer here is one right so let's discuss now the next question number that is 49 here Let's discuss question number 49. Which of the following statements is correct in relation to the endocrine system? Now the first option is organs in the body like gastrointestinal tract, heart, kidney and liver do not produce any hormones. Now this is an incorrect statement because these structures also produce hormones. Now the next statement says option 2 non nutrient chemicals produced by the body in trace amount that acts as intercellular messenger are known as hormones. So this is a correct statement and it is the definition of hormones. Now next statement says releasing and inhibiting hormones are produced by pituitary gland. Now this is incorrect because these are produced by hypothalamus. The fourth option, adenohypophysis is under direct neural control of the hypothalamus. This is again incorrect because it is neurohypophysis which is under direct control. So that means the only correct statement was option 2 and that's how our answer is 2. So let's start with question number 50. Now in this question number 50, we have to discuss megasporangias is equal to what out of these four? Now here, the answer comes out to be three. Of view, now we have to justify this answer. Now, in the ovule, you know one cell is distinguished in the nucellus. That cell is known as megaspore mother cell. Right? Megaspore mother cell, it undergoes meiosis. After meiosis, it results in the formation of haploid megaspores. Right? It means inside the ovule, there is formation of megaspore. Any structure which results in the formation of spore, that structure is known as sporangium. And here we are talking about the megaspore. So surely what do you call this structure as? The structure is known as megasporangium, right? So it means megasporangium is a structure which forms megaspore. And here that function is performed by the ovule. So it means here answer is 3. So now let's discuss question number 51. So now this is an example of ABO blood group. In this ABO blood group, we have to discuss, we have to tell that that AB blood group, the individual having AB blood group, it possess both the A as well as B type of protein. So now this is a classical example of what type of the inheritance we have to discuss here. Now you know this, if the blood group is AB, if the AB blood group is there, then the genotype of organism is this. This is the genotype of the organism. These are the two alleles which are responsible for the AB blood group. Now in this type of the condition, in this type of the inheritance, IA allele, it results in the formation of antigen A. And IB allele results in the formation of antigen B and here both IA allele as well as IB allele they are dominant. 
IELE as well as IBLE both are dominant. It means that this formation of antigen A as well as antigen B. So both the types of the antigen, both the types of the proteins, they are formed. So when both the alleles, they show their expression. When both of them, they are dominant, this condition, it is known as co-dominance. So it means in this case, the right answer is 4. So answer 4 is for the question number 51. So now let's discuss the next question, that is question number 52.